Here on Bowling Avenue, three people were shot. One woman was killed. I'm going to step out of the way here so you can see the crime scene. The investigation started just before two. As you can see, hours later, officers remain on scene. I think it's a horrible thing when we can have this situation keep taking place in our city in broad daylight. Several neighbors watched as emergency responders transported three people to University Hospital on Saturday afternoon following a shooting behind this house on Bowling Avenue. Police say among the shooting victims were two black men and a woman in her early 20s. Well, unfortunately, the white female uh, did die from her injuries. The men who were shot are expected to survive. According to neighbors, this is not the first time that shots have been fired on the street. This woman who does not want to be identified lives next door to the house where the deadly shooting happened. Every night, they're, randomly, they're shooting off guns. I mean, every night, just, you know. I've been told that we have been uh, and into that particular home. Uh, several times. I'm not sure the exact number, but uh, yes, there have been uh, occasions we've been here and, and as a result of uh, uh, shots fired in the area. Although several people were placed in police cars after the shooting, no one has been charged in connection. I just can't understand why we're just taking each other's lives for senseless cause. Again, so far, no arrests have been made and that woman who was shot to death has not been identified. I'm told officers will remain on scene throughout the night. Live on Bowling Avenue, Annalisa Gale, WLKY News.